Style Icons Modern Edition. I am so excited to share this video with you. Number one, because it was so much fun to create. And number two, because actually there's not a lot out there on this topic. You'll find bits and pieces here and there, you know, but you rarely see it just gathered into one place. So today for your viewing entertainment, I've done just that. Welcome to friends are nearby, don't need another view. Time is not on my mind, but then it's you. Oh, I love it when the love comes around. And when people talk about style icons, the conversation and the mind immediately goes to people like Audrey Hepburn, Jane Birkin, Coco Chanel. But there are incredible women living in the here and now who are creating the new classics and these new timeless looks all with an edge and a flair that I find really inspiring. Making this video put me right out of my comfort zone actually, because I am more heavily influenced by the more traditional icons that I mentioned before, but because I admire the style and the creativity of these women that I'm about to show you so much, I had to make a video in homage and hopefully inject a little bit of freshness and lightness and fun into my own wardrobe as well. My picks are all my own personal opinion, of course, but in my personal opinion, I think I've saved the queen for last. So you'll want to stick around for that. Let's go. The first person I had to include is Hayley Bieber. Model, fashion icon, skincare enthusiast. Hayley is the master of the high low look, pairing pumps with baggy jeans and crop tops with blazers and so on. She is also a genius accessorizer. Her style is not completely out of my comfort zone because she uses basics really cleverly to build the foundation of all of her outfits. But where I do feel challenged is in her use of those great accessories I mentioned, in her use of color, and also great sneakers. I don't have any great sneakers in my wardrobe at the moment. So having said all that, there were multiple outfits of hers that I felt I could recreate using what's in my own wardrobe. Ultimately, I decided to create this outfit. So let me talk you through it. But before I do, first I wanted to take a stab at this outfit for the laugh because I have a similar bag and kind of similar pajamas. So I had to try it. Now, as you can see, the legs are way too long. It's a bit of a disaster and my the top isn't as tapered as hers is but hey it's all inspiration right so back to the original image i love the blazer here of course and also the baggy jeans with the pumps now i don't have really cool green pumps like these but what i do have are these lovely metallic pair that i usually wear to weddings hence the heel savers in case i have to navigate any grass lawns and overall, I really like how this outfit turned out. I have this lovely oversized blazer here from And Other Stories and paired with the crop top and the, okay, these jeans aren't baggy, but you know, they're, they're a bit too big for me anyway. And pairing them with the pumps and the black bag really brings out the outfit. So thanks for the inspo, Hayley. Anouk recently did a campaign for Koss and the reason I've included her here is because in my opinion she is an influencer of influencers. So many influencers follow her and for good reason because her style is impeccable. Of everyone I've included in the video today her look was the easiest for me to recreate because she does use a lot of classic pieces like linen shirts, Breton stripes, great slides, but she combines them all in a way that creates a really fresh modern look, yet classic at the same time. So I've chosen this outfit and let me tell you why. It's because it's beautiful. She opts for all natural fabrics here in a tonal color palette with minimal beautiful accessories. I'm recreating this using my silk shirt from Everlane and these pants from H&M which are made of viscose. They're both still available so I'll leave them linked in the description box for you. I'm also using this really old belt from Primark. And overall, I'm really happy with how the look came together. I'm using brown slides from Next here, but I found that by swapping them out for my two-tone pumps, this became an excellent office look, and I've already worn it to work, in fact, and it kept me really comfortable and feeling quite stylish and glamorous all day as well. 
I've added a trench coat over the top because I think it pairs perfectly with this outfit. And this one's from Massimo Duty. It's still available as far as I know. So I'll leave that one linked in the description box for you as well. And I'd love to know, please tell me in the comments, do you think a nook is a worthy addition to this list of modern style icons? Because I think her style is absolutely phenomenal. And I would love to know what you think as well. So let me know. In the meantime, I absolutely love this outfit. Thanks, Anouk, for the inspiration. So I'm going from the icon I felt most comfortable recreating to the icon I feel least comfortable about recreating. Why? Because Karen is the epitome of really modern, multicolored, multi-textural, fashion forward street style. All the things I'm not, basically. Her accessories game is top notch as well. And things you'd never think to put together in a million years, well, she can pull it off. The outfit I've chosen to recreate is this one. Now, you'll have to cut me some slack here because while creativity can take me a long way, I just don't have the pieces to create some of most really of her amazing, iconic looks. So for now, I've picked this outfit. So let's try and recreate it. If you're enjoying this video so far, give it a thumbs up. And who are your favorite style icons, both old and new? Let me know in the comments. And here is my Karen Britchick inspired recreation. I've busted out the trench coat again, but I could not have pulled off this look without the sunglasses. They add that edge and coolness that the outfit really needs. So this is the finished look. I love it. I never would have put it together without Karen's inspiration. And yeah, it's fantastic. I could not do a style icon video without mentioning Anina Bing. She's got this cool edgy vibe to her style and she's also the creator of some pieces that are rapidly becoming iconic in themselves like the Charlie boot and this graphic tee which features another style icon, Brigitte Bardot. You'll see Anina Bing rocking simple basics with a statement shoe and she often pairs that with leather. The outfit I've chosen to recreate is this one. So let's get into it. Take one pair of faux leather spanks, pair it with some black ankle boots, add a graphic tee, this is the only one I have in my wardrobe, a clutch bag, and of course a pair of sunglasses. And ladies and gentlemen, we have our look. I got this graphic tee from Stradivarius years ago, way before I discovered my own personal style. And I'm really glad I didn't declutter it because I think a graphic tee is really, really good to recreate Anina Bing's edgy kind of rock check look. And while it's not really my style anymore, wow, I really, really loved this outfit. Lydia has a huge following on Instagram, over a million subscribers, all thanks to her amazing style, but also to her fantastic ability to communicate how and why she wears what she wears. The reason I've included her here is because although she works almost exclusively with neutrals and really classic basics, she has a way of combining them that makes them look really fresh and contemporary and up to the minute. That is an incredible skill. So I'm back in my comfort zone here and I've chosen this outfit to recreate. So let's go. Starting with the base, which is a white t-shirt from Mango, black faux leather leggings from Spanx, and this blue Lyocell denim shirt from Massimo Duty. And straight away, all the complementary colors make a really nice base. I've grabbed my trench coat, also from Massimo Duty. And again, I've said it before in previous videos, but I do think blue and beige go so, so well together. I've grabbed my clutch uh, bag. This is my normal DKNY bag, but I've just popped the straps inside the bag to create a clutch. And overall, I just really, really enjoy how this outfit looks. I actually wore this to go out for drinks with some colleagues. It makes for a really nice, quite casual, but still dressy going out look. Overall, I think this outfit is a really versatile spring or autumn outfit. I think you could, it's really trans-seasonal. And with the layers, of course, you can make it warmer or cooler as you prefer. Overall, I'm really happy with this outfit and really enjoyed putting it together. Thanks, Lydia. 
this must pass. Matilda Jerf is a Swedish model, influencer, and the founder of the clothing brand Jerf Avenue. In my personal opinion, she is the one responsible for the popularity of the clean girl look. Her fresh, dewy skin and tousled hair give every outfit she creates this kind of natural, effortless vibe. She typically uses great basics, great accessories, and combines them in a way to create these casual, kind of easy breezy looks. She also has the amazing, cool Swedish thing going on, which obviously I'm not gonna to try to emulate, but I am gonna to try to recreate this outfit. So let's go. So I've started off with the double denim base. I'm wearing this Lyosel shirt from Massimo Duty again and taking my Nike trainers. She's wearing this cool metallic Chanel bag and the closest thing I've got is this gold clutch that I use for weddings. And also she's wearing these big hoops and so I'm using these large <laughs> golden earrings I got many years ago. I can't remember where, sorry but they really do help to make the outfit pop, I think, against what is quite a simple base. Sunglasses are also really essential. Now, in the picture, she has them just kind of pushed back off her face, creating this lovely tousled look, but my hair is not really cooperating. <laughs> There's this errant curl sitting out at the edge, but I guess it looks effortless, kind of, which is the vibe I'm going for, because this outfit, I think, is just as much about attitude as it is about the clothes and accessories she's actually wearing. I mean, look, how cool is this girl? Look at her. So overall, I'm happy enough with this outfit, but I don't think it's quite my vibe. Um, but you know, it's all inspiration, isn't it? The queen, Victoria Beckham. She needs no introduction, unless you're watching from Mars, in which case I'll give you a very quick rundown. So she started off as a singer in the Spice Girls, married the footballer, David Beckham. And her style then evolved over the next couple of decades in a way I've really enjoyed watching. And finally, she started her own fashion label. I love her style. It's incredibly sophisticated and classy. And I had a real struggle picking one outfit I wanted to recreate, to be honest. But I've gone with this one. So let's go. This outfit may be only jeans and a t-shirt, but the silhouette makes it interesting. She's chosen wide leg, high-waisted jeans, like these similar ones I got from Next a few weeks ago, and paired them with a simple t-shirt and of course, great accessories. I'm using my Steve Madden sunglasses here and my quilted leather DKNY bag as well. So, couldn't be a simpler outfit, but the shape makes it really, really interesting and flattering to wear as well. For me being, five foot two and as you might know Victoria Beckham is actually only five foot three so for us petite girls using high-waisted jean is extremely useful to kind of lengthen our entire silhouette. I've paired my jeans with these pointed toe beige color ankle boots as well which further help to elongate my frame so I absolutely love the inspiration that I can take from this outfit. I think it's incredibly easy to recreate and yet come up with an outfit that may be made out of basics, but is really, really interesting to look at and lovely to wear as well. So do you agree with this list or not? Who would you add to this list or delete from it? Let me know in the comments box below. I love hearing from you. And as always, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye. Keep me company downtown Before the clock runs out Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time